All right, everybody, welcome uh, to the Toronto Snowmobile Show. We are here at one of our favorite places. You guys know we love to ride Cochrane. I'm here with Curtis, who we know very well, and uh, Curtis is going to just tell us a little bit about Cochrane, and he'll help explain why we love it so much. Is pretty much one of our go-to places to uh, to ride. So Cochrane, Ontario, the place of snow. Um, one thing about Cochrane with snowmobiling is just we have such an early season. If it was up to our guys, we'd probably be open mid-December, but we're always open December 26th, weather depending. <laughs> but um, just our volunteers, our president, Kenny Johnson, he does all our volunteers, they do wonders for Cochrane and our snowmobile club. Um, with the amount of snow we get, there's so much upkeep with the trails. So they're in every morning, every night. Um, the machines are putting in the hours. But uh, just our trails alone, their highways in the middle of the bush, absolutely stunning. You see the wildlife, you get to meet so many different people at your hotels. Um, Cochrane is home to so many different hotels for places to stay and a few restaurants to eat. I'll just name a few. So you have like uh, the Best Western, the, the Station Inn, the Thrift Lodge, the Travel Lodge, um, the Westway Motel, the Chimo, and the North Adventure. Cochrane is uh, getting a new hotel, the Comfort Inn. Um, but as well with the restaurants, you have JR's, famous for, for their ribs, very yep. good. And then the 49th Parallel, very nice bar scene, very good food, always changing their menu. And so, Curtis, what about um, when people come up to Cochrane? So if they're going sledding for the day, yeah. obviously they can tour around. Mm -hmm. What are some of the attractions in Cochrane? That so they one can of the see? main attractions um, in Cochrane, so say you have a day off, your sled breaks down, you could go visit the polar bear habitat. It's home to three polar bears, as well with a heritage village. It's like a 1900s kind of village that's set up there. And one of the main attraction for sledders is the vintage snowmobile museum. It's, it's stunning. It's, you gotta go check it out. All right, Curtis, every snowmobiler loves breakfast. So tell us about yeah. where the good breakfast spots are in Cochrane. Well, of course, you got your Tim Hortons. Everyone loves their Timmy's double double in the morning. <laughs> but uh, you also have a couple places for breakfast. One of my favorites, two of my favorites, are uh, the Railway Cafe. Very good far farm fresh breakfast, and as well as the Caleb's Cafe. Okay. Very, very good breakfast. Awesome. And so, um, obviously, I mean, we're really familiar with, you know, pretty much touring around Cochrane. So, you know, why is it such a great hub and where can folks go when they come up and, and stay over in Cochrane? So one of the really cool things about Cochrane is when you're traveling from Southern Ontario, it's about a seven and a half hour drive up Highway 11 and you base yourself in Cochrane. So you leave your truck and trailer at the hotel mm -hmm. and you could go so many different directions. So one of the main loops is the Abitibi Canyon. Um, Steve Downey is the new owner of this Abitibi Canyon, so it's about a 350 kilometer loop from Cochrane, mm -hmm. and you could get gas right at the, in the middle of nowhere. You're getting gas and fueling your snowmobile. Um, another couple loops that people love to do, they go to Capus Casing. It's about 150 kilometers just for a lunch and then come back to Cochrane. Yep. Or if you want to, you, you base yourself in Cochrane, you spend a couple days in Cochrane, you check out of your hotel, but a lot of the hotels in Cochrane, the cool thing about it is you can leave your truck and trailer at the hotel, you go all the way to Hearst, you spend the night in Hearst, mm -hmm. and then you come back to Cochrane. So like I said, you make Cochrane your hub for the snowmobilers and it's, it's amazing for them. That's awesome. And there's also, we heard, there's there's going to be a trip as well that well they've been running the trips from Abitibi Canyon yep. all the way up to Moosonee yeah and so we heard there's going to be some, some yeah trips so that's something trip. really really awesome that's on my bucket list I still <laughs> haven't been able to do it just so busy in the winter time but what you do is you go to base camp with Steve Downey and Mark Froud yeah um, you run up to Moosonee so halfway through you spend a night uh, in a chalet in the middle of nowhere going to Moosonee there's a little games room. All, all the guys can get together, have a couple drinks, um, enjoy themselves. And if you don't want to come back the following day, you could go to Moosonee, put your snowmobile on the train, hop on the train, and come back to Cochrane. Super cool. Something so cool and so unique for Cochrane. Definitely. That's on my list this year for sure. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Well, it's definitely our favorite place to ride in Ontario. We're up there. We've been going up there for 15 years. You guys have seen a lot of our video work up there, and we are obviously looking forward to getting back up there December yeah. 15th, and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys once we get up there.